Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a few things about um, Pine and email. So if we jump over to our Linux manual here, sending mail on Linux, okay? And here's Alpine. You can use Alpine or Mailex, or if you're familiar with other things, you can use that. But Alpine is um, the easiest for beginners. So like it says, it's a screen oriented message handling tool. It offers a limited set of functions, you know, geared towards the novice user. So it's, it's useful for us, um, for beginners to be able to use this. So the way you use it is just go through some of these things. It just gives you a description of what it does. It's really not very complicated. Once you log in to your server, you type in Pine for Alpine, and it takes you to this interactive um, interface where you have a list of things that you can use. If you click, you know, if you select, I should say, if you would just hit enter, which is folder list, it goes into a list of folders. And at the bottom, again, just like Nano, you have all these options. You can add folders, you can delete folders, you can organize things. So if you hit enter on inbox, which is highlighted, it goes into all your email. Okay, so this is a list of my email that I have, and you would have your list of emails in here. And if you didn't have any emails, it would be empty. So if you want to send an email to somebody, then you go, uh, if you hit your comma key, which will take you back, um, you can always use the ones at the bottom that says take you back to main menu. M for main menu will take you back to this menu. And let's say you want to send an email to somebody. You can say C for compose, and then if you are going to send it, send me an email, for example, you can type in first name dot last name, which is the my PCC username, right? And you can add more by maybe add your own um, email address if you want to send a copy, or you go down here. And once you go down, notice if it is correct, then it shows you that information. Okay, so you don't need to put in all the rest of the stuff; just the first name, last name of your instructor or whoever it is that you're trying to send the email to and a copy maybe to yourself or to any other email address. Attachment, I'm just using my arrow keys to go up and down. At the bottom, it says Control T to files. You can use Control T, it takes you to your folders. Let me find my 161B folder, which is somewhere here, right there. And go into that folder, hit enter. And I have my assigned one folder, hit enter. And there's my file. Let's say I want to send that CPP file to your instructor. You hit enter and it says, okay, I attach that file. Subject, say test email, put something in the subject. And then here's your body of the message. Say, hello, here is my CPP file attached. Okay. And control X will send it. Control C will cancel it. Look at the bottom. So we're going to say control X. It says, do you really want to send it? Say Y for yes, and it sends it. Okay, now how do I check it? Since I sent it to myself, I can go back to say enter to folder list, inbox, and uh, where's my email? I don't, ah, there we go. There's email at the bottom. You go down to that email and you hit enter. And again, you have to read because, you know, it gives you all the instructions as to what you need to do. It says use the V command to view or save this part. OK, so if you want to save it, then you can use your shift V and shift S both at the same time actually will save it. So if you do shift V and shift S, OK, shift V S at the same time or shift V and then S. Notice it says at the bottom, do you want to copy attachment to file in home directory? So if you want to put it in your 161B, for example, then you would type in CS161B, which is in my home. And if I want to put it, you know, right there, or if I want to put it in a different folder, don't put it in the same folder, then it will ask you, do you want to overwrite it? Now you can always put it in that folder. What was it called? Assign underscore zero one. And if you want to rename it, maybe to A01 underscore back, right? You hit enter and it says so many lines written to, if it couldn't find the folder, it would give you an error message. Since it says it was written to, that means it was saved. Then I'm going to go, I hit comma, or you can go back to your previous screen by using the dash or the underscore. And here we are. And I'm going to, if I want to delete it, let's say I'm done with this. I, I don't want to keep it. So D will mark it 
this last message marked for deletion at the bottom. And then Q, is this really quit? Yes. Do you want to expunge, meaning do you want to completely get rid of it? Yes. And then that message will be gone. Now let me go to CS161B slash assign. And if you look at LL, there is that file a01 underscore back dot cpp. Right? So it's there, it's saved, and then you can use it, or I'm going to now remove it because I don't need it. RM a01 underscore back star will just remove that file. Anything with the back, and I didn't have anything else other than that. So that's fine, and how to send email and how to check email real quick. And also a quick note on how to change this font. If it is too small, if you don't like the settings on your Putty server, right click and go to change settings. Or you can do that when you go into Putty, it's the same window that comes up, right? You go to um, under window, it says appearance. You click on appearance. Here's all the information for the appearance of the screen. And here's how I changed my font. You can go to change right here, and then you pick the font that you want and the size that you want. And so there are a few other things that you can play around with that kind of shows you how to change the appearance of this window. All right, well, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.